Have you seen these websites designed by AI? Because I'll show you how you can make one yourself using AI art and chat GPT so you don't have to do any of the hard work with designing and writing. First, we'll make a web design with Midjourney. Then we'll use a free art tool to just clean it up. We'll use ChatGPT to write the headline, tagline, as well as some paragraphs. And at last, we'll plug all of this into a no-code website maker. So you can make an entire website from the ground up without writing a single line of code. And trust me, once you've seen the power of AI at work, you won't want to go back to the old ways of doing things. So let me show you step number one, go to Midjourney on Discord. So just click on Midjourney right here, and then you can go down to one of the general image gen chats here. Now we're gonna try to make a prompt here. So imagine summer, beautiful website selling sunglasses, summer, summer vibes, UX, UI, website design. Then we're gonna double dash V4 and let's see what we get out from that prompt. Right off the bat, we get in some amazing designs here. Let's try to make something like version number one we're going to click on V1 variations and we're going to submit another one to see if we can get some different variations. It looks so weird the first time it tries to make a variation and then it just gets better and better. Come on, doesn't this look amazing? I honestly can't pick. So I'm just going to go for number two and click on upscale. This will make it a lot better quality. Okay, we just finished. I'm gonna click open in browser and then I'm just gonna click save image as. Step number two, go to photopia.com. Photopia is a Photoshop clone and we're just gonna drag the image in now. And this works even if you don't know Photoshop. I'm just gonna basically cut out the part that we really want here so it will fit into a web design. We do it by using the rectangle tool, but we're also gonna go to the lasso tool select the polygonal lasso and then hold the shift down and just select around the top here. There we go. Click on control J and here we have just the image itself. We're gonna clean it up now by using the spot healing brush, make it a little bit bigger and then we're just gonna go around and heal this. Select this and yeah, we just keep going down here. Seems like it tried to make some like tiny sunglasses. I don't like that in the top here. This also doesn't look that good. So let's try to spot heal brush again and that looks better. Couple more buttons, just select that and it's gone and select this and it's gone. Same with this menu in the top here. I also don't like the tongue in the mouth. So we're gonna delete that one, just like that. We're gonna scale it up and then we are gonna render it out. Drop it, save as. Now we're gonna click on file, export as and PNG. Put the quality at 100 and we're gonna save that. Step number three, go to ChatGPT. We're gonna ask it, write a short hero title, tagline and call CTA button for a website about sunglasses. Hero title, see the world in a new light. Tagline, experience the ultimate clarity and style with our sunglasses. Call to action button, <laughs> shop now, all right. We're gonna generate some more things as well, but for now, Step number four, go to editorx.com. This is a no code web designer that makes it a lot easier for us to make a web design. So we're just gonna click on start now and continue with Google. Here you can say what you are and everything. We're just gonna click on other and then myself, get started. We're gonna start with a blank canvas. So just click on that and edit. Now let's start by adding an element. We're gonna add an image and just like that, we're gonna click on change image and we're gonna upload our image right now. Just drag that right in here. Damn, it's looking snazzy already. Pull it in and then let's scale it up. Make it a little bit bigger here. Let's try to make it bigger just like that. Pull it a little bit more down. Let's add an element like a title and put it in the top here. The hero title, see the world in a new light. And I'm just checking the font and everything from the mid journey prompt. We're gonna add another title here and put the tagline and make this space a little bit less. And I really like this color that they tried to put under here, which is sort of like a brownish color. So let's try to do that. Let's add a new color and make it like brownish 
skin tone apply maybe make the hero text a little bit bigger and it seems like there's some um, text here and then a call to action button so let's write a little paragraph about our sunglasses ChatGPT is coming in hot let's go back let's add a paragraph and it's a little bit too much so i make it a little smaller the size here also a little bit smaller and i love it being gray so we're gonna put it as gray here and let's add the button with, of course, shop now. Change text, shop now. You can see the design being a white button, so we're gonna change that too. The text color being black, and it had a little border of black, but just a tiny bit. And I don't like it to be full black. We're actually gonna put it as a little gray, just like that, oh my God. If you look at the full website, doesn't this look amazing? Now we obviously need to add a section where we can put the sunglasses. So now let's add another section here as a grid and we're gonna make it full size. Now we're just gonna add a section and we're just gonna click blank because we kind of want to make it just like this. And you guys already know how to do this, kind of. So we're just going to do it real quick. Grab the image we already got. Select the entire thing just like this. Control J, get everything else away. Crop, click on file export as png add an element image pop it over here change image drag it in and just update just click on reset image if it's not working correctly we're gonna pop it right up here looking snazzy now i'm just gonna click on this one and i'm gonna click on color now i have this chrome extension called color pick eyedropper and i'm just gonna select this color here so just copy this code and we're gonna add that as our color here. Click on apply and just like that, you can see how beautiful it becomes. Now we're just gonna copy and paste this text. It could obviously just control C, control V and we're gonna pop it right down here. Now we're just gonna drag this text down here and you can see that we can't see it. So just click on layers and you can right click on all of these and then arrange to front. Or if that doesn't work, just click on the section, arrange to back. And we wanna make it a little bit shorter here. I'm gonna align it a little bit differently. Just like that, we made an entire website from scratch with Midjourney, ChatGPT, and Editor X. Hope you liked this video. Subscribe for more.